Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 71. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Okay, we're on to the final segment of this game now. We got uh, one professional race and one endurance race. Wow, the professional series. Uh, this is level 50 and above. Class R1 trophy. Um, we're taking the Audi R8 for this one. Uh, started off with Suzuka, moving on to Sebring, Road Atlanta, Magello, Nürburgring, and then Laguna Seca. Let's get going. Time for Suzuka. This is our final championship. This is the one that I've been looking forward to. And technically speaking, this was the first car I tried out when I first played Motorsport 2. Back ages ago, I, I can remember the first time I played it. It was around Test Track and I picked this car. Wow. That was very polite of all of you. Uh, yeah, so I picked this car, drove it around Test Track. It was horrendous, but... Kind of come full circle because it's pretty much the last car that we're going to drive. Except for the fact the last car is going to be the Ferrari. I wanted to do a similar thing to what we did in Motorsport 1. I think it'd be cool. Just got away with that in the end. I like the look of that Peugeot, I will be totally honest with you. That was uh, the Ferrari strategists at work there. Yeah, didn't they do that with their, like, um, Valkyrie or something, right? Not bad. I think my guy's helmet's going through the car. <laughs> That's brilliant. I genuinely don't know why it tells you to brake so much earlier in these cars, because no. These things have pretty hefty brakes.
Shit. The only thing they need is a hefty driver. <laughs> and that is what I am not. Come on. Okay, so apparently I'm doing donuts now at this point. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, Ego! Thank you so much for that follow. Ego, thank you very much for that follow, my dude. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. I mean, I agree with the whole internet as well, because everyone says um, that the G29 is the best, so that's why I recommended it. Well, the G29 or the G920, depending on what platform you are. But yeah, that wheel is the best. Uh, Ego, good to hear that you're having a good day. Good to hear. Don't mind me asking, how did you uh, find my channel today? go. Not bad. Woohoo!
Right, we've got one more lap to go. Final time round 130R, let's see if we can get it on the track this time. Yes, that's how it's done. I'm watching you. So underrated. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> I'm vibing here. That's not bad, though. Good start. We've got uh, five more races left to go in this championship. All right, race number two, Sebring. <clears throat> We've not got many events left to go, which is uh, pretty awesome. Awesome. you gonna do this place Oh, Jesus Christ. That was very close to the cones on the inside there. Not bad. Looking good. Looking good. Scooch, scoot. You know, this is like this would be something I would love to do one day is to go camping at a racetrack. Like you look here, this is basically a camper's paradise. Everyone pitches up in their RV or whatever it is, and they camp out whilst watching some motorsport. I I don't know why that just seems like the coolest fucking thing ever. It's a very American thing though. We don't really have it much. 
around uh, UK and European circuits. But I have seen quite a few American circuits where that's quite common. There's also um, obviously the Nürburgring that has a few spots like trailer parks around the outside of it. But the Nürburgring is home to like a lot of 24 hour races so it makes sense for that there. There we go. That's two laps done. Wow. This is actually going to be a little bit shorter than uh, the R2 World Tour. Because pretty much all of these are the same length in terms of number of laps. The only difference is uh, this has faster cars, so Pretty much, we should see it be much, much shorter. Oh my god. Jesus. Here we go. Come on, we got this. I can't wait for this game to be over. As much as I'm, I've enjoyed it. I really want to move on to uh, Motorsport Three. Really want to move on. Motorsport Three. You bought the deluxe edition. It is well worth it. Honestly, it's such an in-depth game. It really is. It, it's definitely a game to try out because the graphics are pretty darn good. Also, thank you for using my link as well. Appreciate it, man.
I'm surprised that these tires aren't completely worn out. Bing, 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 bing. Forty eight point three, one point four seconds quicker. I think we're going even faster now. Yeah, point three. I hit the rev limiter, so I'm going to have lost some time. Still gain time. I'm going to send him to outer space. Find another race. Okay, I will be honest, I forgot the brakes. I, I completely forgot the brakes. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. It's crunch. It's all you hear is just a crunch. Hey, nice one, Jacob. German's a good language to learn. All right, here we go. Road Atlanta now. Why are you running at 4K if you've got a 2K monitor? I mean, sure. Oh, come on. Stupid Bentley. p.m. tonight is like, yeah, that's way too late. It's like two in the morning. I'm not getting on at two in the morning. <laughs> I will be transferring my footage and go straight to sleep after this. Fair enough. Fair enough. Get the fuck out of the way. Everything they say, they say from deep in Yeah, I know that. I know it looks better. But the difference between it isn't significant enough to warrant adding more strain to your performance. 
I don't know. It should be fine anyways, because the tech... When it comes to running at 4K, it doesn't actually increase the textures, because that's done through the texture quality setting. So, it probably dropped like two frames compared to... Like, that's how little of a performance hit it should do, so... Should be fine. This is really smooth around these tracks. LMP1 cars are super stable. Next, you're going to be buying damn fucking smoke machines and shit. <laughs> smoke machines out the back to simulate tire smoke. enough Jacob I don't really uh, watch anything that's not in English because I can't understand it so mm -hmm. well like, here's the thing if you really like this and like really like sim racing you're gonna be one in the best of the best guaranteed it's just how sim racing works. You wait till you start getting into like, if you enjoy it and you get into iRacing, that shit is like $4,000 for all the cars. And you still have to pay every month to access it. Uh, and then on top of that, there's other simulation games that have like $400 of DLC. You've got all sorts. Fucking Fanatec wheels that cost two grand, three grand, five grand. Brake pedals that cost five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, all sorts. It just, it's a rabbit hole of expenses. <laughs>
freak like me just needs infinity. <laughs> Have you seen those kind of setups? They are honestly phenomenal. I would do a setup like that, but I feel like it just wouldn't... I wouldn't be able to have like a streaming setup like that, so... I do have an idea of what my dream setup is going to be. Um, it's triple monitors. Um, the middle monitor being a 32 inch. The other side monitors being 24s. They don't need to be substantial. But the middle one needs to be 32. Uh, middle one's used for sim racing. Stuff like that. And the side ones are used as like a side view or whatever. Uh, when it comes to, like, streaming, chat will be on this monitor. If I play, like, console games, it'll be on the main monitor. Chat will be on the side. Relax. Take your time. Full bag. bad. find a fairly cheap but high quality like either 1440p or 4k 32 inch monitor doesn't bother me if it's slightly curved or not just need to find a good quality I might actually see if AOC has one because I know they definitely have a 32 inch but I don't know if it's 4k I know 27 is a sweet spot, but I'm thinking for sims. So, because of how simulators are set up, you're actually further away from the monitor. Um, so, 32 would be ideal. Because that way, I, I would, in a sim setup, be sat here, quite far away. So, I would want it slightly larger, if that makes sense. Orbit, oh, what is up? Welcome. Underglow on my car. Ooh, what color? Or is it just like... RGB. <laughs> Underglow. Honestly, that would probably be the first thing that I stick on my car when I get one. Even if it's just some crappy RGB LED strip, I don't care. I'm putting fucking Underglow on my car. <laughs> Red, so it's a bit touchy of the laws and crap. That's fair enough. All right, here we go. Mugello. I don't even know how many songs are left on this playlist. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, my internet it would take two hours to do that. Which is still not too bad, but... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is really nice around Magello. Holy shit. I have to limit my steam, because otherwise, if I don't, it uh, takes up all my bandwidth because of how, like, Steam will just go as fast as it can. If you've got really fast internet, Steam will just let you download at maximum speed. So because of that, no matter how fast your internet is, um, it's never a good idea <laughs> to install stuff with Steam without a data, without a cap, if you're also trying to, like, upload stuff or download anything else. Oh, I can't check now. Yeah, mine's nowhere near that. Mine downloads at about 10. Maybe 15. Nothing crazy. I don't need any faster than that, though. Because uh, I'm normally... Normally when I'm downloading something, I'm normally busy doing something else anyways. So it doesn't bother me. And I have plenty of games that if a new racing game comes out, I just play something else for the time being, so. <laughs> no, they're not, Jacob. I can tell you that right fucking now. Virgin Media are not good. Not good at all. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't know why, but OBS is a massive graphics card whore. Like, it really wants a lot of graphics power. Well, you wouldn't be able to do 1080p on Twitch, because Twitch doesn't... There's not enough bandwidth for you to actually do 1080p. It just looks horrendous. Look into your eyes and imagine life without you. And the love kick starts again. Oh yeah, capability, yeah, that's fair enough. Mine is doing 72060. Eh? I do need to get a better CPU so that my CPU can do more encoding. Mm. 
the only thing is I need um I need my graphics card to encode because I don't have enough my CPU is already rendering two things while we're uh, streaming so it's currently sitting at about 40% OBS is using 28% that doesn't include any other stuff, so, you know. Thing is, I I do need to work out at some point whether I'm gonna get a double PC setup or whether I'm gonna have one PC with like two graphics cards in. Because one PC with two graphics cards will have plenty of power to encode whilst also gaming at the same time. It should be fine like that. It's just whether in the long run it's worth it or whether to just get a second fucking computer. Whoa, 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 whoa. And the rest you can keep. And the rest you can keep. Oh, my neighborhood of later can I help a fool <laughs> I love this song. To the sound and sinking. Little town halls. Uh, I got a dual dual monitor set up, so that's why you see me sort of looking over here because there's a monitor here, and then there's also a monitor here. So that's why you see me flicking back and forth. What do you mean by that? The only thing visible is icons, numbers, and letters. Yeah, send me, um, screenshots. I'll have a look at it once I've done this race. You can send, like, a picture. I should do the job. Yes.
Well, oh, bag. Not bad. Let's go! Cross that finish line. 11.41. Not too bad. Nice result there. All right, here we go. It is time. Time, 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 time. Meow, meow, meow. This is probably going to be... The most enjoyable race. The least enjoyable, sorry. The least enjoyable race out of this championship. But it should be much easier than any other time we've driven the Nürburgring because of the fact this car is so stable. It is actually disgusting how stable this car is. This was in Horizon 1, this song. It's really good. The thing is, this remix is its own thing, which you very rarely get when people remix songs, to the point that the style of the original song is there, but it feels like a completely different song. Uh, do you know what I just realized? Because we're pretty much in the high revs, this uh, controller is just going to be on vibrate for the entire time. It's just going to go... Bzzz. But at least the PS5 controller's vibration isn't horrendous. This is why I prefer the PS5, because like the vibration just doesn't rattle your hands. So when you do have races like this, where it's just constant vibrations, it actually still, you know, you can still feel the vibrations. It doesn't go numb after five minutes. Oh, sometimes. You have to be that transparent about owning a dildo. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck off. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, just send an Audi around the Nürburgring when it's freaky time. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. Ball sack. Hey, hey, hey. Pumpkin instigator. Nimi, 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 nimi.
That was uh, pretty shit. <laughs> I just realized what you've typed in, Hans. I am the fire star, yeah. Fire starter to wisted fire starter. Come on, keep it straight. There we go. I'm doing all right. We're not doing all right. Fuck me. Detonator. Yeah, 30,000 euros to repair the original paint. And now the original bodywork as well. So uh, it turns out that this, this race isn't easier than I was expecting. Where the fuck is this thing not... It is in fact much harder than I was expecting. Ball bag. This thing's horrendous to drive. And the fact is, I was wanting to go into the pits, but I probably shouldn't. Unbelievably ridiculous. It's redonkulous, actually. That's what she said. Bang, 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 bang. I have no clue what this music is, but this is. I think that's the end of that playlist. I think Firestar was the last song on that playlist. I don't know what the fuck it's playing now. I'll be totally honest. Probably playing some random shit, I don't know. Woohoo! Me back from work late once again. <laughs> well, you are back from work though, so. How was your day at work, Cotto? How was it? I got no clue what this is. It 
a song called Born Slippy by Underworld. And it is seven and a half minutes long. Shit. Over 150 tables in three hours. That's not too bad. That's a one every minute and a half. Or less, actually. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck this is. Oh, this is a good song. I don't know if you've heard this song, but this is a fucking tune. I'm adding this to the stream playlist. Wash saving shit for me. Oh, that sucks. That definitely sucks. I can remember when, um, one of my tasks at McDonald's was always to, um, after, like, uh, what's it called? On our backroom shit. Stock in. Uh, between stocking, I would always have to clean up at the back. So. Just to make dehydrated onions. Which, uh, newsflash McDonald's onions are literally a bag of dehydrated onions with water. Nothing fancy. They take the moisture out of the onions and then they pump it back in when you get to the store. It's as simple as that. Get out of me way. Yeah, so we're on the Nurburgring. It's pretty shit. I like this song. <laughs> really good. The drop happens like after a while. It's like it's like one of those old school like dance songs where they were all like eight minutes long and you only had like a three minute drop or something. Uh, I don't know whether it was Horizon 4 or Horizon 5 they added in the limit. I thought it was Horizon 5. Uh, sorry, Motorsport 5. Sorry. I meant Motorsport. Yeah, I thought it was Motorsport 5 they added the limo. There's a good shout. Why the fuck haven't we got a limo in Horizon 5? I can't get no sleep. Come on, we got this. Oh no, it won't do. Consoles are uh, offline, so you can you can log in. It's perfectly fine. Whoa! Holy! F Fuck, that was close.
Well, good thing that this is a championship and not an actual, like, you know. Oh, you gotta be fucking with me. No, 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 no. I need a position. Oh, that was brilliant. Thank you. Push me off into the curb. There was nowhere I could go. I was literally trying to turn right to get myself out of that. Pissed. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fine. No worries. Oh, we got that. Right. One more race to go. Right. Hello. It is I. We are playing... The last race. Or well, second to last race. But this is the last race in the last championship. Of Forza Motorsport 2. After this, we've just got one more race. And that Ferrari in front, that is what we're going to be taking. Oh, I accidentally went into reverse. And now I've spun. Lovely. What a great start. I couldn't have asked for a better beginning for this race. But you know what? Let's try and catch up. Yeah, the, the controller experience is not great. Um, that That's why it was extremely... You maxed everything out and it looks... Yeah, that's good. Um, that's why I had such a challenge, because a lot of the time... Games that are designed to have a more realistic feel typically are better on a sim wheel. Because that's what they focus on. They don't... If they're aiming towards a simulation audience, they're going to aim towards the people with the simulation gear. That being a racing wheel. They very rarely cater towards people with controller. Um... Come on! They're trying to spin me out twice. Goddamn AI. Fucking hell. Um. Yeah, so. When it comes to racing games, if it's aimed towards an arcade audience, stuff like Need for Speed. Need for Speed Heat has wheel support, and I can tell you right now, driving Need for Speed Heat on wheel is the worst thing you can do. Because it just wasn't designed for wheel, it was designed for a controller. Same with GTA, try and drive that with a wheel, it's horrendous. Drive it with controller, it's still horrendous, but it's not as horrendous. Um, to go on. Anything that's... The only ones that get away with it are Simcades. Stuff like uh, Gran Turismo, Forza Motorsport, and... The only reason these games get away with it is because they're aiming to be in the middle. So they have to work on how the arcade side feels with a controller. And they also have to uh, work on the wheel side. Yeah. So if you do buy a wheel... Your best experience probably would be Assetto Corsa. Uh, Assetto Corsa Competizione, but that's racing only. The sort of like race circuits and stuff like that. Uh, potentially even Project Cars 2 will feel much better once you get a wheel. I can guarantee it. Uh, and that will be your best VR experience. But Assetto Corsa also supports VR. Um... Uh, there isn't a 45 race. It's 35 laps around Sebring. But yeah, it's the last one that I'm going to be doing. No, so I thought it was 45 for Sunset Peninsula. That was only 40. 
So I made a mistake on that part because I thought that was 45 laps and it wasn't. Which we've already done the Sunset Peninsula race earlier. Um, and then we're on to Sebring, which is uh, 35 laps. But Sebring is like twice the length of Sunset Peninsula, so... Not bad. Uh, I would drink, but this track has zero straights that are long enough for me to actually drink, so I will do it later after the race. Eighty-four laps of sea bring in the rain took three and a half hours. You're joking. Is that what I'm planning to do? Yeah, last last time I one-handed here. There you go. How was that? That was very quick. Yeah, so I'm not sure about the showcase events because they're not actually part of the main campaign. It's not like in Motorsport 1 to 4 where the endurance races are actually included in the main campaign. But... I do think it would be good to do them. So, I probably will do it. What do you mean you missed it? Glitch, you you are treading on thin ice. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> do it again do it again I'm sorry I had my eyes closed <laughs> oh that's brilliant mm -mm -mm. and again what do you mean and again I've done it twice one for glitch and one for you <laughs> only ice I <laughs> Do you mean only ice will I ever tread on? Or I will only ever tread on ice? <laughs> I'm only gonna tread on ice for the rest of my life. It's like living life on the edge. Instead, I'm living life on ice. <laughs> the look of confusion has graced Max Bay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm confuzzled. I'm very much confuzzled. I am kind of disappointed though that the last race, like short race, last champion race, whatever you want to say, is Mazda Raceway. It, it's quite possibly the worst racetrack to end on. I would have liked to have ended on something a bit better, but at least it's not test track. <laughs> um. But at least the final, final race that's in this game is Sebring. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, simulation is never going to feel like real life. There is no... It's so difficult to make it feel realistic. Um, so... If a game can be pretty close, like project cars can be pretty close. Um, I mean, to be fair, you are currently driving it with a controller. I don't think you drive a Porsche with a controller. 
<laughs> so... A nice one, yeah. Project Cars 2 is a good one. What do you mean, do you plan to drive it? Yeah, PC1 wasn't too great. Uh, stream it. Yeah. Um, I would love to stream Project Cars 2 in VR. I could do Project Cars 2 flat screen with minimal problems. It should be fine. But in VR, for some reason, my PC fucking hates VR and streaming. I can't work out why. I think it's just OBS is a fucking graphics card hog. So if I transferred everything to work off of my CPU instead, it should be fine. But actually, Streamlabs, no. No. I refuse to support Streamlabs. They are a literal copy and paste company where they steal other people's stuff and resell it. <laughs> yeah, Fallen, sit in a box. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Um, chances of me doing project cards is very slim at the moment on stream, but... Um, I don't know how many people have project cars, because there is a possibility I could do a project cars cruise with Alto. Just for a week to split it up. I could do that. Um, but again, I have no clue whether people want to do that or not. If enough people have Project Cars 2 on PC. Because it is PC exclusive if you are wanting to play together. Like, it's, it, it's not got a cross-platform. Like, Forza does. Uh, you basically just um, unzip them, put them into a folder, and it should work. But they all have to go into the same folder. If they go into different places, the whole thing will, will break. So you have to extract them into the same place. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because it does it in four separate amounts. Yeah, so you got to extract them each separately. That's just how... Uh, Google does stuff. It's weird. Yeah. Whoa, nice slide. Ah, there we go. Look at that! 60 gamer score! All gold for the professional series. Woohoo! Result. I will take my rewards. Thank you very fucking much. Hello. There we go. 
Uh, I got the number 15 V12 BMW, 130 grand, and then 766 grand as well. Uh, I do own a couple. Thank you for the GG stickers. GG! Oh, that's actually a nice Beamer. No, we're sticking with the Ferrari for the next one. Sticking with the Ferrari. I've said I'm going to do the Ferrari. We're doing the Ferrari. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.